Hi, it's Dave with Align Therapy. In honor of Scoliosis Awareness Month, which is June, uh, it, we, we thought we'd do some education and some history, a little history lesson on the Schroth method and scoliosis specific exercise. So today in honor of Katerina Schroth, she loved to do exercises outside. We are outside. We're in our Hawaiian shirts because it's really hot today and it's Hawaiian Friday. So thought we'd do a little lesson on, on the Schroth method and where it came from. Uh, I get asked this sometimes from my, my Schroth patients, you know, where did it come from and how did it come to be? And I think it would be helpful to, to know that. So if we do a little, little timeline here, in 1894, that's when Katerina Schroth was born. So that was, that was a while ago. And she, as she was a teenager, so her teenage years, my writing is horrible, holy cow. In her teenage years, she had scoliosis. So she had experience with scoliosis and, uh, and began to notice the different postures and activities and breathing techniques and, and that reduced the look and feel of her scoliosis. So in around 1920, she started to teach that method to other, other people in Germany. And she continued to develop this, this uh, method of breathing techniques and movement techniques to reduce the look and, and feel of scoliosis. So it, from 1920 on, the Schroth method was taught, uh, eventually developing into something that was taught throughout Germany. And as they also had a Schroth like rehab hospital type thing that, uh, that people would, would be treated at that continues to this day. Uh, Katerina Schroth's daughter, um, her name was Krista, and she was a physical therapist, and she took Katerina Schroth's techniques and, and uh, you know, treatment techniques and developed it into more of, of a specific technique that was taught more and more. So Krista taught that and refined that, and through, you know, 1920 to you know, around 2000, 2004, it continued to be refined and changed and, and progressed. So in, in about 2005-ish, I don't know exactly the date, that's when, that's when the U.S. got uh, some Schroth Method trained therapists that were able to teach in, uh, in the U.S. They had to go outside of the U.S. to get trained in the Schroth Method. And then in 2015, that's when I got trained in the Schroth method. And since 2015 at Align Therapy, we've been doing the Schroth method along with techniques for scoliosis treatment. So all the way from 1894, uh, well, she wasn't doing the Schroth method in 1894, but from 1920, the Schroth method has been taught in different forms and has been refined. The school that I learned the Schroth method through is um, BSPTS, the Barcelona Scoliosis Physical Therapy School. And that continues to be refined. Dr. Manuel Rigo continues to change the method to be most effective. And we continue to have therapists that are trained in that. So this timeline will continue to go forward and we're going to continue getting trained in Schroth and updating those techniques and making them more and more effective. So the future is bright for scoliosis treatment and hopefully you enjoyed this history lesson of the Schroth method.